good day all my name is godwin and today i'm going to take you on how to troubleshoot atm pc motherboard how to know when the motherboard has issues and how to be able to know when the other components of the pc are having issue and i'm also going to teach you how to replace atm pc motherboard now we have various motherboards that we use in the atm so but in winko we have three major ones that we normally use although we have plenty but there are three major ones we normally use like the one you are seeing on your screen right now this is one of the oldest motherboard we use in winko atms you can find it in 2050x e serial 2050x e usb and all the likes of that so those are the kind of machines that uses this motherboard and this motherboard is very rugged it's very strong this is a 32-bit motherboard it's not a 64-bit motherboard this motherboard is strong but the issues we are having these days is that they are old most of these pieces are old and they, they are suffering from old age so most times you'll be having processor issue board issue and ram issue and all the rest so that's the issues we normally have encounter with this motherboard this motherboard also uses an intel processor if you look on your screen now you can see the type of processor that this motherboard uses this this processor has pins it has several pins so when handling this processor be careful not to bend any of the pin this processor can be used on this kind of pc if you look at this pc i believe most of us will know this pc because it's one of the oldest pc so that's where this motherboard is found so changing motherboard is quite is almost the same thing for all the pieces so i'm just going to show you how to change one motherboard with that you'll be able to know how to change the other ones now this is one of the most common motherboards we have this motherboard is for senior atms it, it, it comes mostly for senior atms and it's very strong it has a slot for four rams you can use two two gig ram but i would recommend that if you're using windows 7 on this motherboard use at least four gig ram it comes with an intel processor and as you can see the processor is not like the old one that i showed you the processor is better now this is a ddr3 ram and this ram is seen on this senior pc this ram comes in two gig it can also come in one gig so but when you are using this pc you know i suggested that at least you use a minimum of four gig ram use a minimum of four gig ram for you to be able to enjoy this pc so this is the kind of pc that this motherboard comes with so this is the most commonly used pc because most atms especially all senior atm most of the senior atms they come with this pc because it's only the new ones that come with a higher pc so this pc is very good it's very strong and it's very okay so i'm going to teach you how to dismantle the motherboard and replace it so now the motherboard you are seeing on your screen right now is one of the latest motherboard for atms this motherboard it, it comes with core i series processor and it makes use of use of laptop size ram laptop size ddr3 ram so this is the latest uh, motherboard and this motherboard is very fast so when processing a customer transaction you discover that this the atm using this motherboard will be very fast the the, the motherboard is used mostly for our windows 10 upgrade for machines that are using windows 10 that's mostly where we use this motherboard so see the kind of pc that uses this motherboard so this motherboard is good it's very good that's a, one of the, the latest motherboard from winko so that's it so this just like i told you the motherboard makes use of laptop size ram so this is the kind of ram you see in this motherboard so how do you know that a ram is having issue most times when, you're, when, when your ram is having issue you'll be hearing a beep sound you hear a beep sound and like i told you before this type of uh, uh, pcs they use core i series processors they make use of core i series processors so you can use core i3 core i5 or any core i series processor and they are different from the other types of processor this is the kind of power pack you are going to see in this pc 
and I'm going to show you how to know when your power pack is giving issue or when your motherboard is giving you issues this this power pack is the type that you see in that first the first that works with that first motherboard I showed you this for serial ATMs all those old pieces so that's the one that uses this kind of power pack so I'm going to show you how do you know that your power pack is the 41 and not your motherboard let's say your ATM is not powering up and you try to check now unplug this big cable that plugs on the motherboard this cable comes from the power pack so now you see the green we only have one green wire you need to loop the green one with the black with any of the black maybe especially the black one beside it so when you do the looping when you loop the wire and you try to power up the pc you would if if the if the fan inside the power pack inside the power supply start blowing and it's on then you know that the power supply is okay the issue is coming from the motherboard see how you are going to loop it just use a wire a copper wire loop it loop the green and the black so when you loop it and you power on the the, the pc and the power, power supply comes on it means that it's okay so this only happens when let's say your pc is not powering up and you are trying to find out whether the issue is coming from the motherboard or the power supply so this is how you check whether the power supply is okay or your motherboard is okay so but there are cases where after checking you discover that this is okay but your your pc is still not coming up that then you have to check whether the issue is coming from your motherboard there are lots of things we can do on the motherboard now i'm going to show you how to remove a motherboard and how to couple it back this my motherboard is bad what happened to this my motherboard this my motherboard if you power up the atm the fan both the processor fan will come up but there's no light no light is showing i cleaned the motherboard i did everything i could on the motherboard and it refused to work so when trying to dismantle it you have to remove all the cables attached to the motherboard and you have to remove the ram too so when troubleshooting for issues on the motherboard you first thing we normally do is to clean the motherboard how do we clean the motherboard we usually use a blower you can use a blower to clean your motherboard because if there's dust on the motherboard the motherboard might not work so we either use a blower or a air any air compressor you can use any air compressor to blow on it so but in advanced cases you can see if if it has sticky dust or something like that if the motherboard has sticky dust you can clean it too with uh, alcohol you can use alcohol isopropyl you can use alcohol isopropyl at least it's if you have 90 percent alcohol so you can use it to clean your motherboard to dry it and it should work so but in the case that you have tried all this and your motherboard is not working then you have no other option than to replace the motherboard when trying to replace the motherboard you have to be very careful in order not to damage any other thing so watch as i carefully lose out the fan i'm losing out the processor fan the processor used to become so hot most times that it needs a heat sink and a processor fan so it makes use of the heat sink and the processor fan i can remember when we used to use only windows xp back then even if the fan spoils the machine will still be working very well but from windows 7 upward to windows 10 you can't allow your pc to work when your processor fan is not working if anything happens to your processor fan and it stops working you need to off the pc and replace it else you will damage your processor or your motherboard so see how the Pressure fan looks like so now I'm about to lose out the processor for you so you need to unhook the lock that is used to lock the processor to be able to remove this processor this is an, this is an Intel Pentium processor so as you can see it's different from that old processor I showed you initially so when you remove the processor in the processor base for this there are it has a um, the 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 points that attach to the processor are very delicate don't ever use your hand or brush to touch it because if you use brush to to try to brush it you might 
disaligned the 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 pin. It it, it, it has something like pin, but it's not pin. It's like a, a spring and pin all together. But if you use brush on it, you might spoil it. If you use your hand on it, you might spoil it. So I just suggest use only blower on it use only blower on it because you can easily damage it and when you damage it your board will not work again so that's it so there are several screws that attach the motherboard to the pc body so you have to carefully lose out all the screws that attach this motherboard to the pc body and as you can see this stuff some some motherboard doesn't come with with them so when you when you finish losing all the screws in your motherboard ensure you disconnect all the cables properly and when you are disconnecting the cables ensure you note where all the cables are the the pc is just made up of the the motherboard the processor power supply the, uh, this one doesn't have dvd rom inside like the old ones so there's nothing much in the pc so once you're able to just identify where you plug out all the cables from, that, that's it. So be, the only thing is that when handling this kind of PC, you have to be very careful in order not to damage your board. So this is the old board. This is the old board. This board is dead. It's not working. So what actually happened, if you power on the machine, it won't show any light, but the fan and everything on the inside will come up but it won't show any light so now assuming it's a processor issue i assuming it's a processor issue how you know that it's a processor issue everything might might show light might show but when trying to come out it might be flagging a blue screen you might be be on a constant blue screen or it's not it's not able to load so that's when you know that it might be a processor issue and processor issues and a hard disk because most times we normally have hard disk issue hard disk issue is different from processor issue hard disk issue you might be able, you know, most times when your machine is trying to boot and it's having a hard disk issue you will see the errors it might tell you it might, it might tell you operating system not found it might not be able to see operating system or there are, there might be lots of other issues that you might encounter and you know that it's a hard disk issue now this new motherboard is a new a brand new motherboard if you can if you can see you, you very well you discover that this plastic covers where the processor used to be so you need to remove it for you to be able to put your processor so i've removed it and i'm going to put my processor ensure you don't use your hand to touch that place because when you touch it you might just damage it to see my processor ensure you dust your processor you can use brush to brush it clean it very well and it has a setting look at the processor very well you'll be able to see the direction that you are going to put the processor from so once you get the direction you put the processor inside and it will just enter inside perfectly so once it enters you now try to lock it with the lock so you push the lock down and you use this one to clip it that's all so once you have done it you have your your processor is is good to go so now we are going to put back this board into the pc we're going to put back this board into the pc when putting it in try to ensure that all the, the holes where you tight it to the floor of the pc that it aligns very well all the places that you're going to put screw like aligns very well and you're also going to check the where where, where you have your vga ports your usb and all that ensure that they go out perfectly if not they might they might be more on the inside so try to do as if you are pushing it out a bit so that it will come outside very well so that's how we used to do it so motherboard most times when you're having a motherboard issue you might just discover that you you power on your machine it won't power on at all you try everything it won't power on so that's why i showed you how to know when your power supply is okay so that at least You'll be able to differentiate when your power supply is okay or when it's a, a board issue so when, when once you have tested and the power supply is okay that means it narrows it down to the board and narrows it down to the board so you either bring out your board clean it very well and all that and if issue persists and you've done everything then you will need to change it so that's why we normally change board. the changing board is a very rare thing to do you might stay in a very long time and you have not changed 
PC board. So just like I told you, this, this is one of the strongest PC motherboard. It's very strong. It's stronger than the latest motherboard, but it's it also it also damages a bit. It's, it's a bit stronger than the, the latest motherboard. So just like I was trying to tell you initially, when you when you are having a RAM issue, there are lots of ways you can dictate when, when you are having a RAM issue. RAM issue when when one of your RAM or your RAMs are not okay, your machine might start making a beep sound. That's if it's not seeing your RAM. Let's say you are using only one stick of RAM and it's having issue, it will start making a beep sound. Also, when you power up your machine and it's trying to boot, you might start noticing something on the customer screen or on the monitor you are using you might start noticing a it might start seeing lines you might start seeing lines and the thing will start looking as if it's not normal when it's trying to come up so when you are seeing these kind of symptoms you know that your ram is having issue or whenever your machine is up or or coming up and it's telling you is that is having memory issue whenever your machine is complaining of memory issue you know that your ram is bad you might need to replace your ram so in this motherboard we have the blue side for the ram and the black side both of them are yeah, actually the same thing i usually put my ram anywhere i feel like so you have four slots so that you can be able to to put four sticks of ram if you want depending on the os that is installed so that's it so when connecting all these things back ensure you plug all the cables back both the fan cable and all that plug all the cables back properly and everything will work fine and always ensure that you dust your pc regularly let's say like all of us we know that most times if the atm is not giving issue and you go to blow or dust the pc you might encounter issues on your own so what i normally advise is that whenever you are having issue to, to do on the pc when you have anything to do on the pc use the opportunity to blow it use the opportunity and make sure that there's no dust in the pc because most times what used to affect the motherboard is dust so when you are having too much dust in your motherboard it tends to start giving issue you know most of the atms are facing road and all that and before you know it dust will start accumulating on the pc so that's it so ensure this 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 is the this is the main cable i told you about the one that you will join the green and the black wire together to be able to find out if the the board is the issue or the power supply is the issue so when your board is having issue is either it doesn't work at all or it, it do as if it's working but no light is showing so when you finish you connect your hard disk back properly if it's had this issue you already know that the machine will be telling you different errors when it's trying to boot so when you finish you couple your pc back and close it and once you close it and, pl and plug it back the machine will start working so that's it for that thank you for watching this tutorial and i wish you all the best as you learn atms so don't forget to also subscribe to our channel to be able to access all our videos as we upload them regularly thank you